Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mackie here with a walkthrough for One Leaves, showing you how to grab all of the gamer score in the game. Now, sorry about when this video is coming out. I've been trying to make it for about a week or two now, and I've just had a lot of problems, but it's finally working as expected. This is a 100% absolutely free game. However, it is only available in the United States. Now, I'm not telling you to region switch, but theoretically, if you are outside of the United States and you went to your settings and changed your location to the United States and then reset your Xbox, you would be able to download this no matter where you live. Now, this game is absolutely free and you can grab the 1000 gamer score in about two to three hours. I will show you how to get all of the achievements and then there's just a little bit of grinding at the end, but you can grab almost everything within 15 to 20 minutes as I will show in the video. Now from the main menu, I would recommend making the game a little bit brighter than it needs to be. Additionally, this game does not offer the option to invert your Y axis. So you'll need to do that through the Xbox Accessories app if you are an inverted player like myself. Now this is a first person puzzle maze speed running type of game. And it is pretty simple. It is not very good and it runs terribly. But you will start the game in this kind of cage against three other people. These are just AI that you'll be competing against in terms of time. And as long as you're quite quick, you can win. But in our first playthrough here, we're actually going to be grabbing everything that's kind of miscellaneous. And then we're also going to be losing on purpose as we do have to lose one time. Now, every time you play this game, it has the potential to be a little bit different because each stage has two to three variations. Uh, the rules are overall very simple and it doesn't change all that much, but it is possible that yours looks slightly different than mine. Now, as you exit through the first door, follow the red wire into the air duct and as you exit, you should unlock your first achievement for interacting with an object. Now, in this kind of school area, what you want to do is follow the red wires out of the exit room and at the end of both of these red wires, there should be switches. And there are two things that will happen at the end of each wire. It will be more or less the same uh, thing to do at the end of the wire. It's just the locations of where the wires take you might be a little bit different. But just look at the ground and follow the wires. One of the wires should lead into a library. And the solution to the library is always the same. Interact with the first bookshelf. Go through, turn around, and then interact with it again to slide it back into place. And then continue in the direction we were headed interact with this bookcase and then you should be able to make your way into the corner where there is a big smoke cloud doing that will lift all of the bookcases as well as unlock another achievement or uh, achievement for you and once they're all raised just exit through the exit door interact with the fuse box switch and that is your first of two red cables figured out the hallways leading back to where we have to go might also look different for you but as long as you kind of follow along the path and look for those red wires, you really shouldn't have too much of a problem. Now, what you want to do is find the second red wire that we didn't take originally, and it might be at the top of the stairs to the right, like for you, as it is in my gameplay. And if we follow this one, it will lead us into a smoke cloud. And what we have to do is we have to listen uh, to the audio of the announcer a little bit. It will definitely help you. But eventually, you will reach a smoke cloud, and you have to basically like dip yourself into it. And then as soon as your character coughs, back out and turn around. So you'll see me do that right here through this door after I finally follow the wire. There is a smoke cloud. I'm going to gently walk into it without passing through it. My char character is going to cough a little bit. We're going to turn around. Uh, the audio announcer dude will say turn around as well. And now behind you, there should be a new fuse box. And you can now interact with that. And that will let you kind of continue past where we were going. If you walk through the smoke, it will be an endless loop and you will never be able to finish it. So make sure you do that and then open up the second fuse box past the smoke cloud. And now you can go to where all the red wires lead in order to exit. But before that, there is one room you will have to visit in order to unlock another miscellaneous achievement or trophy. Now on your way kind of out, you should be able to go through this door and following this hallway if you look down to your left it's usually on your left you'll find all these kind of bleachers that are pinned up against the wall and at the very end of the hallway you should find a gym room with a couple of trees inside of it and if you kind of walk up to this first tree that's really close to us from where we entered walk around a little bit 
One of them will light on fire and you will get the up in smoke achievement. I don't know what exactly triggers it. I just kind of ran around and eventually this it worked. And at that point, you can now head back to where we were uh, in the hallway and follow to the red wires to the end of this stage. Again, there are other variations of layouts, but generally speaking, the solutions and everything are going to be the exact same. You might just have to figure out exactly where to go uh, on your own. But when you reach this room, the door will open. It'll show above the door what place you're in. That doesn't matter. Um, and then just continue down the stairs, uh, go through all of the little uh, hallways here, and you'll end up in an elevator, which will take us to the next floor. Now, if you're wondering why this game is free, it's because it's actually an advertisement for anti-smoking. The less questions you ask with some of these indie games, the better, though, so let's just ignore that for a bit. On the next floor, you'll enter the first room. There will be three switches on your right-hand side. Interact with the third switch. Interact with the first switch. Allow the game to drop about 40 frames, and then you should see a flashlight coming out of this iron lung machine. You will interact with that flashlight and grab it, and that will also open the door. As you go through the door, there should be a red wire leading to the left, and we will be following that and going to the morgue. Now, on your way here, it obviously could look a little bit different than mine. If you get stuck on the ground, it's because there's some items that kind of poke out and stop you. You'll need to use the X button to jump over them. That will happen in certain instances. So if there's something that looks like you should be able to walk through, you might have to jump. Follow the red wire to the morgue. Go inside of the morgue. Uh, again, it could be really close. It could be really far like it is for me. And once inside, you will see four doors. You want to open all four of the doors in order to unlock an achievement for, you guessed it, opening all four doors. Next up, we'll have to figure out which door to take. If you look inside of the doors, you'll either see like a left turn, a dead end, an immediate kind of drop. What we're looking for is a subtle downward ramp. It's usually in door two, but it can be in any door. And you have to kind of look through and inspect. We're looking for a ramp that goes subtly down. If you take that, you should go into a room with a switch. If you take the wrong door, you'll probably die and just have to respawn in that same area and try again until you figure out which door it is. It doesn't really matter if you get it wrong, by the way. But just for the sake of time, you do want to be able to take the door, the right door, uh, you know, pretty consistently. Taking the correct door will drop you into this room with a switch that will open the gate. You can then follow the red wires to the exit. But before going to the exit, there are a couple of miscellaneous things I would recommend us doing. There are three rooms in this stage that you can find, and each one of them has an achievement tied to it. The three rooms are the Lung Room, the Lounge Room, and the X smoker Room. Not all three rooms spawn on all instances, so you might get a little bit unlucky and one of them won't be available for you. But basically, instead of going left from where we entered, you want to go to the right from where we entered this area and just inspect every room. And if you can go inside the room, just go inside. And for example, this is the lung room. You'll go up to the lungs and this will unlock you an achievement, which I already have. So I'll show you that I've unlocked it. But basically... Uh, sometimes the, the rooms will be kind of randomized in the layout, but at least two out of the three rooms should be available in every single playthrough. So again, we're going to go through and try to find another room. The other room we'll be able to find in this playthrough is the lounge. The lounge offers, I think like 150 gamer score, which makes no sense because the room across from it offers 10 gamer score and it's more or less the same thing. The lounge has two couches as well as an old school TV. So once you go in there, you'll unlock that big achievement I talked about for 150. And then there's also one more room with a body bag that kind of squirms around when you walk in. That is unfortunately not in my playthrough. So I'm just going to skip it and I'll get it on my second playthrough that I do have in this video. Once I'm uh, happy with the fact that I've gone through all the rooms and made sure I've gotten all those three rooms that I talked about... Follow the red wire and go to the exit in order to go to the third and final stage, which is the sewer. While in the loading screen, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think of this game. I think it's terrible. I know it's free, but we can still judge free games and it is just not good in like any way. It runs terribly. It's not fun. It looks bad. The story's dumb. 
it's just it's just a mess all over. But anyways, we'll go into the elevator and then spawn into the sewer after the loading screen. Now, once the elevator door opens, you will spawn and there will be a small hole in the ground in front of you. So drop down and you'll end up in the sewers, which will unlock you a achievement. There are two possible layouts to the sewer. One of them will be shown here. The other one is shown in the second playthrough. But basically, you just kind of find your way out. Now, if you land in an area where the walls are kind of lined with tissue, you're going to have to take a left hand turn immediately. But if you fall into the area like mine, you'll go into the first room, take a right hand turn, and then go into this small little cavern with a bright yellow light. You'll see a small door with exit signs around it and we will follow it. If you have this layout of the sewer, you can find the mouth. So this is basically a maze and you just have to pick a side. You can either go left or right. If you go one way, it's gonna be right. If you go the other way, it's gonna be wrong. You just kind of have to keep deciding to go left or right until you find the end of this maze. There is really no way to like memorize it. But if you are in this layout, one of the bad ends will have a mouth and that'll unlock an achievement for you called Not So Pearly Whites. And at this point, you just have to keep picking left or right at every intersection until you just keep taking the right way. And eventually you will find the exit door Again, there's no strategy here. Every time there's an intersection, I either just pick left or I pick right. If I pick the wrong way, I just go back to where I came from and choose the other direction. And eventually you will find the exit marked by a bunch of like exit signs all over the wall. And now once you reach the exit, one of two things will happen. Now, because this is your first playthrough, you will probably not win the game because it probably took you longer than 10 minutes. So if you lose, you will exit the game into a smoker's room and something message, I don't know, the game talks about how like three out of four people can't quit smoking and because we didn't get first place, we're going to die of lung cancer. I don't know, all, all of the words that YouTube loves to demonetize happen at the end of this video and if you lose, you'll unlock an achievement for losing and then we can play the game again, we can grab anything we missed. So if you had a certain layout in stage two, you probably missed the X smoker If you had a certain layout of the sewer, you probably missed the mouth. Then we have to win the game, and then we have to win the game 20 times, which is kind of the big, grindy achievement. So with our first playthrough done, there is nothing else to do but keep playing the game. Press play again, or go to the main menu and start a new game. It's really the same thing, and you will spawn in again. At this point, we are going to try to win the game, which means that we will be doing a speed run. Now, in order to get first place, I think you have to finish in about 10 or 11 minutes. I'm going to speed run the game in about 8 minutes in this clip. However, I'm also going to be doing something extra to show you guys something we missed in our last playthrough. But if you get good at the game and you know exactly where to go and what to do at every instance, you can probably speedrun it in about six minutes or less every time. You could probably do it with all the loading screens and everything. You could probably do it about eight or nine times an hour. So after about two and a half hours of grinding this out, you should have your 20 wins. So... At the beginning, you're gonna wait for the door to open as always. Once the door opens, we're gonna be going through this really quick. We're gonna be interacting with the air duct, going through and then following the two red wires and interacting with the two fuse boxes in order to open the gate and then go through the gate. Now, I do have the same layout in this stage as I did in the first playthrough. The other layout is similar, but a little bit different. The red wires lead to a different place. The library works the same every time. And then the only thing that changes is the smoke cloud one where you have to walk in and turn around. Uh, the way that one works is a little bit different, but basically uh, you'll see that there's one smoke cloud you have to turn around in. But there's also a sign on the wall that tells you when to turn around. And it only shows up if you're facing the right direction. So basically just keep going back and forth between the smoke clouds and turn around when there is a sign that says turn around. And it should clear all the smoke for you. And then you should be able to find a fuse box and exit out. 
but otherwise it's uh, pretty simple stuff. So yeah, for the school, follow both of the red wires, interact with both of the fuse boxes, follow both of the red wires back to the exit door, and then exit out. Now when you exit out, it will tell you what place you're in out of the four people. No matter how fast I did this, there was almost never a way for me to uh, get first place on that little leaderboard. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second here. So don't worry about it if, you, if it says you're second or even third. As long as you think you're going pretty quick, you should be uh, good to go. And even if you see all these people running around in front of you, that doesn't matter either. Those are just scripted events. Uh, as long as you're moving at your own fast pace, you're likely to win the game every time. Again, you have about 10 or 11 minutes. Uh, even with a couple of mistakes, you can easily do it in like eight or nine minutes. But right here, you can see it says I'm in second place. Again, that doesn't really matter. As long as it doesn't say you're like fourth, you are definitely going fast enough. Exit uh, this stage in order to take the elevator, which will bring us to the hospital area. And in this hospital area, it's gonna be slightly different than the one we did before, but that allows us to get that one achievement we missed. So again, we're gonna load into the hospital. The first room, we're going to interact with the third and the first switch in order to open up the iron lung. Opening up the iron lung presents us with a flashlight and then taking the flashlight will open the door to the next room. As soon as we enter the next room, take an immediate left turn and then follow the red wire all the way to the morgue. You can, here is also where you have to kind of jump over that door or else it won't let you proceed. You can also go the other way and all of this kind of loops back around, but it's usually faster to follow the red cable into the morgue. Once into the morgue, I would just go straight for door number two and check if it has that uh, slight downward ramp. Again, that's what we're looking for is a slight downward ramp and go inside. And at the end of this, you should be able to drop into a new room. In that room, there is a fuse box. Interact with the fuse box and then you can exit if you want. If you were unlucky like me in your first playthrough and you were not able to find the ex-smoker, you might be able to find him this time if your layout is different. So we are going to take the extra 30 to 40 seconds to find the ex-smoker. So usually he is located upstairs. If you have this layout, there's also this weird jump we have to make to get over this rubble. Uh, there's also like oil on the ground sometimes that you have to walk through. It makes you walk slow. Uh, but I know that in this instance, I know the ex-smoker is upstairs, so we're going to just run straight upstairs and find his room to unlock that achievement. And then we can exit the hospital in order to continue uh, with the sewers. I will also get the other instance of the sewers. So uh, with each stage having two potential layouts, I think there is like eight different um, or even 16, I don't know, eight. I think there's eight different like total layouts you can have, but they're all just mixes and matches of other layouts, so it's pretty simple. Found that X smoker now we're gonna make our way downstairs and go through the exit door. Again, it's gonna tell you what position you're in. As long as you're not last place, you're fine. And uh, it'll probably say like second or third for me on screen here. And we can now go to the sewer. I think second's a good place to be. If you're third, you're probably running a little bit late and you might wanna be really, really quick at the sewers. Again, in the sewers, I will get my other layout. So like I said, if you land in like uh, walls with tissue on the, um, on the walls, you can basically take like an immediate left turn and then follow that path. However, if you don't, you have to go forward and then a little bit to the right to find that yellow bright light. Once you do it once or twice, it might sound really complicated or like you might be feeling like you're lost. After you do it one or two times, it's super simple to memorize exactly what to do and where to go. So again, in the sewers, drop down the hole. The walls here are lined with tissue. So basically I have to take a left-hand turn right away. I just double check in here just to make sure um, and everything's blocked. So we go through a left-hand turn from where we dropped. And if you take another left-hand turn, you should see an exit door. That's the different exit door from the one before. This sewage system does not have the mouth collectible thing we would have needed. And again, for this one, I'm just going to randomly choose left or right at every intersection until I find my way to the very end. For some reason, I the first time I did this uh, strategy, I noticed that it seemed like going to the right was the best way to do it every time. But then when I actually got down to it, I got really unlucky and it ended up just being left every time. 
So I don't know if you want to follow me. You can go left every time if it's the same as uh, the one on screen. But essentially, just left and right turns at every intersection. If you if you've hit a dead end or it looks like there's like sick tissue on the walls, that means you went the wrong way. Again, just keep choosing left or right, and eventually you will reach a long stretch of hallway with a ton of exit signs at the end. If you did it fast enough, this time the door will open into an outdoor kind of park. That means you got first out of four and that you won the game. This will allow you to unlock the achievement for winning the game. You should now have 13 out of 14, and the only thing you'll be missing is winning 20 times. And in order to win 20 times, just restart the game and keep playing it for about two to three hours until you have that done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special thanks to all the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. A video like this probably wouldn't be very likely to come out on the channel if it wasn't for the support of people on Patreon. Shout out to Double O as well. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, share this video with a friend, and hopefully I see you in the next one. Peace!